Today, I'm going to be reviewing my Honda CRF 230F. It's a 2003. Um, it's a four-stroke air-cooled bike. It's basically all stock, just new black plastics, um, grips, brake lever, headlight, taillight, blinkers, stock exhaust, license plate, stickers, and that's about it. We have a new chain that I need to lube. We have dirty tires. It's a very dirty bike. I have not ridden it in like two weeks or so. So the control thing, then we have, we have two keys because one key turns on all the electrics. The other key turns on, what is this guy doing? You got a package? Thank you. Um, yeah, last night I added these Honda stickers. I think it looks really nice. I'm thinking about taking the other sticker off. Or, sorry, the Supreme sticker, because it doesn't really match. I don't know. But yeah, this bike isn't all that fast. It's a trail bike that is street legal, but lawnmower engine, apparently. <laughs> I don't know. So I got these mirrors, same clutch lever. I added a the same clutch la lever on this side, like the same brand or whatever. But when I put it in, when I engaged the clutch, it's the bike. It didn't engage all the way, so the bike kept rolling. So I don't. I'm just gonna leave it like this. If you know how to fix it, just let me know. Um, so we have a speedometer, the Endurance 2 Trail Tech. It goes all the way down through here. I zip tied it all the way down to the bottom. One problem right here is that on the caliper it gets really wet and when it gets wet it stops working for some reason so this is the second or third one they've sent me because it just keeps breaking it and if it breaks again it's kind of rainy and wet and if it breaks again I'm just gonna switch to a different speedometer so that's about it it gets pretty good miles per gallon but I'm not sure exactly uh, DOT tires and yeah that's about it Okay, now let's see if the bike will start up first first try. This bike has a problem of not starting. Like, it'll start, it just won't stay in the idle. So you got to keep on, when you put the choke on high, you just got to keep revving it. So let's turn the gas on. Let's try it with no choke first. I started it up earlier. Nope. All right. So put the choke on high. Medium, low. There we go, it dies again. I'm really liking these grips. I have no idea what they're called, but everybody has them. So I'll probably link all the stuff I have in the description. Except for like the plastics and headlights. Actually, I might. It's the Baja Designs or Baja Designs dual sport kit. And works pretty well. Everything's wired to the battery through the through the plastics underneath the seat, batteries underneath there. So then we can turn this key on. Blinkers work. I'll do the horn later because it's pretty loud. <laughs> Let's go. I haven't ridden this thing in so long. Okay, let's see how the camera looks. I think we're good. Oh god, it's been such a long time since I've ridden. And it's kind of wet, so I gotta take it slow. This bike has a pretty decent top speed. I've gotten it to 63 miles per hour in this neighborhood, but I have not tried it on like the highway or anything. I've never really given it full throttle. Oh 
Oh yeah, that is wrong. <laughs> I need to fix that. Holy crap. That is wrong. Flip. my speedometer was accurate we could have gotten <laughs> a good top speed actually I don't think that was top speed I didn't I don't know there's nobody out today but yeah living over here I live in Austin Texas right um, I'm at my, my motorcycles at my dad's house and he lives over in B cave so I really get rarely get to upload often due to the fact that I'm really with my dad so that's why there's kind of like a lack of uploads but I upload anytime I can and I'm gonna start doing it more often now that I have so many subscribers that's awesome but that means I gotta watch what I put out there I don't want it to be shit you know what I'm saying Also, I put a 14 tooth rocket in the front, in the front, and then I think a 45 in the rear. I think that's what I have it at. I'll go make sure though. I'll probably put that in the video. Oh, there we go. Some slide in. <laughs> it's really wet. And I need to adjust my rear, my rear brake. But yeah, over here in B Cave, it's perfect. I guess I don't need my blinker. It's perfect to ride. Because there's all these houses that are just being built and just land that it's just nobody's using. Perfect for like a dirt bike, dual sport. God, what the flip? That's not supposed to be like that. What did I do wrong? Huh. Ooh. Yeah, I probably shouldn't be downshifting while in a turn in the cold, rainy ground. I don't really like riding on the highway and stuff that much. Mainly because my dad doesn't like me riding over there. And also the fact that it's really scary. <laughs> I don't want to be hit. That's why I'm sick of these neighborhoods and such. But yes, I got pulled over. As you saw in the last video. Coppa's a really cool guy. But think about it. Is he really going to give me a ticket for riding on a place that I found on Google Maps, right? And it looks like there's some people doing donuts in the in the dirt. And that was my second time going there. I just wanted to check the place out. I had no idea it was private property. No signs, nothing. Like really. I'm a 15, I'm almost 16. Okay, I'll be 16 in a couple days, February 9th. But seriously, I'm 15 years old. I know I messed up and I'll go home, but I don't know. He was cool. Cool guy. Also, my handlebars are bent. Yes, somebody said in the comments. Are your handlebars bent? Yes, they are bent. The guy before me, he dropped the... Oh, I was on my way to go pick up the bike. And his little... It was on the stand. And his little sister tried to get on the bike while on the stand and knocked it over. Landing on this side. So it's a little bent that way. It's not too bad, but I don't, I don't mind it, but eventually I think I'm going to fix it because I know handlebars, bent handlebars are not safe apparently. 
Oh, you guys want to see the horn? <laughs> alright, alright, alright. There you go. Maybe I'll be like Baker X Derek and put a air horn just right here. That'd be pretty sweet. Now, onto the gear review. Okay, so this is basically what I wear. I wear the Upline Stars TG Air Plus jacket, I think is what it's called. The SS 2500 black with a chrome visor. Then I have the Do It With Diane Jake Garden Snake Mohawk. I have, it comes with one strip and I just cut them up in threes and I put them on here and it works really cool. Then for legs, I have some padding that they came, the people that I bought my bike from, they just gave these to me. So I was like, okay. Then these boots are just some cheap boots from like Amazon or something. I'll link them in the description, like I said. And that's about it for what I wear when I ride. Oh, and my Novik GMO gloves. Last night took a L, but tonight I bounce back. Wake up every morning, by the night I count stacks.